What's up, guys? Well, Nimrod's here. We're heading out to the POW camp. Former one here within uh, the Ellicott State Game Air. Quota entity, uh, Kilo 6615. We're going to be setting up our veterans today. We're going to be operating, activating uh, the entity, and just having some fun radio going on. So, let's, uh, yeah, we got, I can smell the venison chili in the crock pot behind me. Yeah, we're going to be having some fun. So, we're going to do, try to do a video, and yeah, we'll figure it all out. Hey guys, what's up? Old Nimrod's here. Um, so we're at the site. Kind of back yonder that way is what remains of any foundations or anything of the POW camp. So this is a getting a very worn out, uh, weathered uh, marker uh, of the camp. It's part of the Allen County Heritage Trail. Um, so I'll see if I can find a better um, image of it, insert it in the video, and maybe even do kind of have so you can kind of read it too but so yeah we're here the first one here i'm going to start setting up the tent it's supposed to be kind of chilly today it's not bad i think we're up into the mid mid or upper 40s so i mean yeah yesterday was the upper 70s but it's pretty cool pretty nice you're not going to sweat our behinds off uh, playing radio out here so behind the gate we will probably set the tent up probably right about there um this is all game area we could kind of go where we want but so it turns out we have some interest locally here so we're going to kind of keep close to the road, and we're going to have some fun. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? Old Nimrod's here. We're set up. Uh, my buddy Jim's in there rocking out the contacts. Uh, to come check on the chili. That's why the generator's running around the crock pot. So this is kind of our setup here. we got a little bit of shelter. It's actually turned out to be a beautiful day. Uh, we got the big old Comet vertical up. I forgot. I think we got seven or eight segments of... Uh, military uh, like uh, camo net masting just a standard stuff we all use and um, yeah he's currently working 40 uh, 72 45 and he's got pile-ups for days so it's, he's already activated it when I walked out I think he had 14 contacts and we just started so this is kind of the setup of the um, there's some back yonder that way there's some uh, the foundations like I said earlier so let's sneak up on the tent and see if we can see what's going on And uh, we're located here in Allegan County, Allegan, Michigan. Operator name here is Jim, Juliet, India Mike. Could I have a first name for the log, please? Bill, thanks for giving me three parks. That is totally awesome. What, what state are you in? QSL, QSL on the Tennessee. Roger, roger. Um, okay, let me repeat the park numbers, make sure I got them right. Zero six four two four five six zero three seven nine or one. Is that a Roger? Hey, sometimes I astound myself on the things that I can accomplish when I do. All right, uh, hey, Bill, thanks for putting the parks on the air there. It was nice talking to you, and uh, happy Veterans Day, and God bless America. 73 is good luck on your part. Cure is it. Kilo Alpha 3, November, Quebec. Is that a Roger? That makes a difference. That definitely makes a difference. All right, Victor Alpha 3, November, Quebec. Roger? Roger, Roger. 10-09 in Eastern Ontario. My name is Gilbert. Over. All right, Gilbert. I think I've talked to you before, uh, probably in some contests or something. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, our park number is... Kilo 6615, Kilo 6615, the operator name here is Jim, Julia, India, Mike, and I'm located here in Allegan, Michigan, operating from a POW camp here that was activated during World War II with prisoners from uh, uh, North Africa and from Italy, so uh, once again, uh, do you have all our information there, Gilbert? Thank you very much, Gilbert. Happy. Nimrod again, guys. What's up? So, I'll do a wrap up of this video here. Uh, I got a list. So, <laughs> appreciate you watching the video. We had a blast. So, that was again, we activated uh, 
Park Entity Kilo 6615, which is the Elegant State Game Area Land, uh, specifically the site of the former POW camp, uh, Camp Lakewood. You saw a couple pictures, a few old pictures of it uh, in the intro there, so it's a good time. Doesn't look anything like it did then, but it's a nice wooded area, um, right out of access, right on the west end of Lake Allegan. So, good time. So, uh, first I want to give you an apology. When I do my videos, a few I do, they're one take videos. So, when you hear me say, hey, it's old Nimrod again, it's just a habit, and I'm not going to edit it out. So, let's deal with it. So, so, what do you use when you go POTA? Whatever you have, right? But of course, the only radio you would take is the FT891. Why would you take anything else? Well, you might have another radio, but I don't. So that's what we do. We use the uh, ECU FT891. We had uh, the LDG Z100 Plus tuner. And that big old vertical that I love so much, uh, the Comet Charlie Hotel Alpha, not Alpha Hotel, Charlie Hotel Alpha 250 Bravo X-Ray. It's a big multi-band HF vertical, um, tuned flat, um, 204080. Um yeah, just I love that antenna. Just it works so well. It's a bit cumbersome. Um, Joe and I were able to set it up. One of our club's members' fathers is a welder, and they, he had made a made a spike in a pivot with. Uh, you think how the the mastings go together? It was it was the male end of that. So you put it all together. You tilt it up. You know, I was I was doing the the manual labor, and Jim was out adjusting the guy wires. We had that thing up in under five minutes once the antenna was put together and stuff. So that works awesome. It was a great addition to the, the club's uh, equipment. equipment. Um, you saw pictures of the chili. We had fun, too. Um, we, we went on some little walks. Uh, you saw my cousin Jessica on the video. Um, it's the first time she's been around radio. Um, we're going to get back to that. And But she, 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 has, she likes being outdoors. She likes doing history stuff. So we kind of showed her around the area, the old foundations and basement and that kind of thing. What the heck is that chicken doing? Anyway, <clears throat> so I, I hijacked my kid's school room. No wonder they hate it so much. But that's a whole other video. Um, oh, we had fun. Um, so it's maybe it's in my head. I'm going to say it anyway. People are probably not thinking, oh, you're just out there in veterans. They do this thing. But why were we honoring POWs? We weren't honoring POWs. We had a, I had a chance to go and activate it like I wanted to do for a while. Jim, Jim was all for it. I mean, Jim remembers when it, the buildings were still there and actually, I believe, helped um, take them down when when they're uh, being done done with. So it wasn't anything about <laughs> supporting uh, prisoners of war. Um, it's also, if you, can you want to take it this way, we're honoring the, the ones in our homeland. In this area, they paid the government, and the government paid the, the prisoners, uh, to come work on their farms. They worked in uh, pickling factories, uh, evaporated milk factories, um, just pretty much every, anything. Um, I mean, they did, a, they did a great service. Well, the, the prisoners were kind of incentivized by with pay to help uh, the homeland while the vast majority of the men were out fighting the war. So, and Also, a lot of them wanted to come back. How many of our prisoners of war want to return to the country that held them? I don't think it's, maybe you can count them on one hand, maybe. But they, they got, our, our people treated these prisoners very well. Of course, there were some that were still hardcore, whatever their belief was, and they were segregated off to more structured camps, but the ones here were good. I know there's one story, if you look up Lake Allegan, or just Allegan, Michigan, look just to the northwest, there's a big lake. It's part of the dammed up, it's part of the Kalamazoo River that they dammed up, the Calkins Dam which actually still provides electricity in this area for about 1,500, 2,000 residents, I think. So anyway, um, <laughs> I'm getting along here. Um, they thought that was like Michigan. <laughs> the prisoners did. They were a couple times, or one time they escaped and tried to swim across the whole length of the lake. It's a couple miles. And they got to the other shore, and they thought they were in Chicago. But they were going away from Chicago, <laughs> and they were caught pretty quick by, I believe it was the state police, if not the sheriff, sheriff at the time. So, just fun. there's all kinds of fun little stories. We really didn't get a chance to talk to it about it too much, and maybe I'll get better at video doing videos. I don't like being on video. I'm ugly. No, no. I take pictures of other people and other stuff. But anyway, so that's why we did it on Veterans Day. It's my day off, and it also wasn't. We're not honoring the prisoners. You know, they they were fighting for their country. They got caught. But you know, we're honoring our veterans, <coughs> the, our fellow veterans. That chicken. You know, as well as just how well they were treated here on our homelands. Um, so that was 
I mean, I know I know several stories of the of uh, POWs that had to they had to be sent home, but then they worked their way to come back. Not just here, but just around the country. So that's that's just a, that's just another positive thing to think about from our greatest generation um, is how well we treated and followed the wars or the Geneva Convention and all that fun jazz. All right, we're gonna move on. So <laughs> I'm gonna mention this in the middle of the video. So. Guys, you got Poda gear, right? A lot of the Poda gear, they got the patches and uh, the hat. I don't remember what else uh, JSE Repair does, but that, they're great hats, guys. Uh, they really are quality hats. Great embroidery, very good. This one's filthy, needs to get washed. But so I, I was chatting with the guy after I got this hat and talking with my club hats. That'd be cool, you know. What, you know, this guy lives on the other side of the state. He's one of the southeast side of Michigan. So I sent him a really kind of crappy image of our club logo, and homeboy converted it. To a really badass logo for our club and you can get your call sign on one side name you can do sides and backs this one's on the back you know so just if look up jse-repair.com i'll put a link in the, the description too really great guy does great work and uh, does, does he also does some other ham stuff and he has like radio covers and that kind of thing so just look it up and uh christian mr stairway to heaven 100 watts in a wire fella Maybe work out something with this dude. We can get customized 100 watts hats. I know you you got some on your on your website and your uh, web store, but, but you don't have they're they're kind of printed. Well, they're not printed on demand. They're just on demand. But maybe you can get your 100 watts ID on this side, your call sign name. You know, just throwing it out there, man. I don't know if there's any profit sharing or anything like that. There would be no inventory you'd have to uh, keep on hand. So I'm not sure you do that anyway. But just an idea, man. Customized 100 watts hats. I think it's a cool idea. <laughs> And you know, we had a good time. We ended up with, I think, about 60 contacts. I'm still finishing up the converting the analog to the logs to digital logs. I don't like doing it. Jim doesn't do it. So we'll, we'll get it done. We'll get it submitted soon, guys. Um, but we just had fun. Wow. We were out there. We had chili. We just camaraderie, just having a blast, making a bunch of contacts. And Jim wanted to take a break. When, at the same time, my kids and wife were getting off work and school, and I was... Life and Ham Radio, I dropped the I dropped the baton when he was passing it to me and really messed some people up and so we I got a few more contacts after that and then we, then we just kind of chilled out and started having just doing some walk, walking around and just having some fun so it's a great time get out get outside and be active guys well I don't have an HF rig I was guilty of that too but you got a bow thing you, you got a mobile rig just go out and you can activate these things I know simplex is not very good in a lot of areas. Not a lot of people listen, but I don't know. You you, you just my notes. Wimploda. Be activated, daggum Walmart parking lots. Go out there and just be active. Just go out and play. Have fun. If you're at home. Just just get on the radio. Let's let's incentivize the atmosphere. That chicken is insane. Anyway, so just get out. Have fun. Be active. Learn new stuff. If you're a digital person, right on. I want to. I want to learn digital, kind of. Not really, but I need to. <laughs> Just for some MCOMs and that kind of stuff. So, be active. Turn the radio on. Push the button. Say hello. Well, do it correctly. But and oh, going back to my cousin Jessica. It was the first time she's been exposed to radio. She's still geeked about getting licensed. She wants to get her own license. She likes to talk. Her and Jim are. I'm not that much of a talker um, most of the time. So, but yeah, we're working with her. So maybe we'll have another YL on the air here soon. That'd be fun. And uh, yeah, she's, she's super smart. I'm telling her to just study for the tech in general because nothing wrong with tech. Your tech, good. Appreciate you being there. But once you pass that general test, <clears throat> so much more opens up in the HF world. And it, you can do a lot, you know, VHF <coughs> and above. But... I don't know. You never know. If you're in that study mode, just study for the general. Even if you pass your tech, don't wait eight years like I did <laughs> to upgrade. Because you're in that study mode, all it's gonna—it's almost the same test, just a few different questions. It's not hard. Anyway, I'm rambling on. So again, appreciate you watching the video. And this segment's almost as long as the whole other video. We're gonna cut it off here. Anyway, get out, be active, be safe, have fun. I'm out. Peace. Seven threes.